Taking pictures is often the closest you come to immortalizing those you love. But what if that flash of light also helps to save your child's life? Retinoblastoma is an aggressive childhood cancer that kills over 7,000 youngsters each year. It can be seen in the average family snapshot, but without early intervention, the cancer spreads and invades the brain or bone marrow, causing death. This couple from Ethiopia saw some of the symptoms in their baby, but was too excited about their bundle of joy to pay much attention to them. Why it's not for the pestering relatives who insisted on seeing a doctor, they may have disregarded the warning signs until it was too late. In the beginning, we are very shocked because it is new experience for us. Even the baby is new for us. It's the first born for us. So it will be very difficult. You can imagine as a parent. Once doctors confirmed their fears, they began to worry about affordable treatment. Luckily, they came across a website about a non-profit body that offered financial assistance to treat the condition at the Kenyatta National Hospital. But it's very difficult because the baby will cry. You will not understand what he's looking for, what is need and the medicine is very hard for him. So as a parent, it has so many ups and downs. Another foreign family with a more desperate experience has also benefited from this expertise. With her little Kiswahili, Faria explains how they came to be here. The two most common early signs are a white glow in the eye and crossed or misaligned eyes. The child may also have poor vision and may seem clumsy or have a fear of stairs. Other signs include an enlarged or misshapen pupil, a red, inflamed, painful eye and a bulging or ruptured eyeball. We spoke to Dr. Kahaki Kimani, who specializes in such cases, about the various treatments available. If you are able to pick that cancer early. There are treatment methods that can actually save the eye, things like laser treatment and also uh, cryotherapy, which means freezing the tumor. You can also give some cancer drugs that will shrink the tumor in the eye and at least you are able then to apply either the laser or the freezing technique. And that way you can be able to save the eye and cure the cancer. But many parents ignore the signs or fail to see the urgency of the situation. When it comes to convincing a parent that the eye has to be removed and yet the child looks healthy, there is no pain, and for all intents and purposes, the mother or the father cannot see anything wrong with their baby except that there is something white in the eye, then often they will resist the eye being removed but we always try to explain to them because ultimately if that eye is not removed the cancer is going to spread throughout the body and it is going to kill the child. Even with the loss of their child's eye, parents who have sought treatment are grateful to have caught the cancer in time. With advances in medicine, many of these children will live normal lives. Ocular prosthetics are now a work of art. Can you tell which eye is artificial in these pictures? My message to the parents is, if you think there is something wrong with the eye of your child, even if you go to a clinic and you're told everything is fine, do not accept that. 